Hello, welcome back to Arky's Lounge. This is just the tip edition with materials, equipment, pet skills, and artifacts. Okay, I've had some questions about pet skills. So I'm gonna show you the five that I currently have. Um, and you collect extra level ones of the pet skills that you already have, and you can push them forward and use them as scrolls um, by selecting the little checkbox next to them. So obviously I'm not gonna use my level sevens, nines, and tens um, to upgrade one, but I, if I had a level one there of a duplicate, then I would use that and then I would fill in the rest with the scrolls and hit confirm and upgrade my pet skills that way. Now I'd love to get some of the newer skills, um, so can't wait to collect all the fragments for that. And make sure you evolve your pet so that you can keep using these passive skills. Um, each time you evolve it, you get new passive skills. And those are the active skills. So you have to send your pet out on the attack march to get those um, two on the left. Now, if you send out your pet, um, you'll get the skills on the left and any skills on the right that you have equipped onto the pet. However, you can send an attack without a pet. Maybe if you exhausted all of your um, vigor and you can still use the pet skills in a really interesting way. So um, when I found out about this, I was mind blown. I was like, I can't believe it. This is so amazing. Cause I was used to other gaming platforms where it was very set on a certain way. So say I attacked this castle and once my march left, I would then change to different skills, attack, and take off the expansion and put some HP in there. Or if I want some wounded conversion, if I know I'm going in heavy and I need to get some more wounded versus dead. So that would be something I would equip to help the losses. And then once my march is back, or has finished attacking that I could change that one skill to maybe quick heal and I'd want to put the um, expansion back on there and then switch my equipment to my healing set so I wouldn't be take my attacking set off change my pet skill and heal my troops that were wounded then set everything back up for my next attack now mind you this is <laughs> very time consuming and if you're in a frazzled situation this is not going to come easy it's going to take some skill some time to keep your nerves down um, to get used to being able to switch all these skills uh, between attacks so it yeah and it varies on the what's going on as well so you know don't be afraid to try you can try it with monsters even if you need just to get used to the practice of attacking a monster with this set and then switching the skills. And once it attacks a monster, then switching it back so you can heal as it comes back. Now artifacts, um, you can conjure three free times a day. And then you've also got this shop here so you can refresh twice for free and then it starts costing gems to refresh after that. So good time to you know, browse real quickly. Is there anything I really need in here that I've got these stones to use towards? If not, eh, it was a free refresh. So what I do mostly is I spend my um, stone XP on my Excalibur. And until that reaches level 50, I'm pretty much funneling everything into that since that has an overall increased attack. So that affects every troop. It's not troop specific. So that makes top to bottom my attack that much better. So 
that's where I'm funneling my stone XP. I was asked, what should I expend it on? Now to upgrade to a two star, you do have to make it a level 10. So if you've got enough fragments to evolve your artifact from a one star to a two star, you are gonna have to spend some stone XP into that piece to make it a level 10 at minimal. Um, and I assume when we get to level three, it's probably gonna be, have to be level 30 or higher. So be prepared for that. Um, so if it's not a piece that you're really liking the, the skills, like my Necronomicon book, I am not upgrading that two star, three star, any star, because that's a waste of stone XP in my opinion, because golems I could give a care less about. So this is my current setup. Um, you, there's how you swap your pieces. Now I do a sleeping setup and an online setup. So you wanna make sure you've got extra wounded capacity when you're offline. So, or building, I think that really was a really, since that was two star, I got building speed too. It's a really good idea to open your material chest in large quantities. So I open 50 or more at a time and I get really good odds of getting lots of greens instead of whites. You do get whites, but you get a higher chance of getting those lovely green materials. And all you have to do is be patient and hold them until you get over 50. Same thing with the blue. I usually hold on to the, about 25 or more but I just wanted to open for this um, video. I got one blue material in that. So not as lucky with 12, but still I got one. <laughs> now making the equipment, there is a way to gamble. So I'm gonna show you making white all the way from level one to the level right before your max. Now my max is level 30 equipment. So I'm gonna make a white piece all the way up to level 25. And then on level 30, I'll switch it up for the gamble. All right, still showing you piece by piece how I would just switch out all the presets and make white equipment. And you got that level 25, so this would be my stopping point for all white. I take that level 25 white, throw it on to this level 30, still switching out everything. This still ingot, I have tons of those, so I'm gonna keep that purple because I can easily gamble with that steel ingot. Then I throw that level 25 white equipment in there and press forge and take my chances on whether it's about 10% chance of getting purple, but then I can get blue or I can get green. So it's a pretty decent gamble for not a lot of materials. Now, if you had a 25, uh, so you'd have a up to one to 20, you'd make in white. And then for your level 25, you, well, mine's green, but yours would be white and throw in one purple and all whites. So you have different chances of getting purple, green, or blue. You can also get white, not too bad. Reforge it, try again. <laughs> Keep gambling with that one piece. You don't have to get rid of that until you get what you want. Now, if you make a piece of equipment and it's not one you can really use right now, you can disassemble it and get, for a blue piece, 37 greens for a purple piece 37 blue pieces of materials now it's level 30 you get 43 um, blue if it's purple and if it's a blue piece you get greens 43 greens so you're not putting that many pieces into it so you're getting a lot more higher quality materials out of this gamble if it's a piece you can't use now if it's a piece you can use and you love it keep it <laughs> definitely way better so this way you keep replenishing your uh, materials as you're gambling 
and you know you if you're gambling and you already have like a blue piece of equipment and you're trying to go for purple or gold um, make sure instead of using white you use blue for all those and then either the purple or the gold um, for one of the materials to get better equipment now the ways to get materials is mostly by killing monsters on the map you have a chance to get a piece of material and sometimes you can get two if it's a territory reward if that monster is in your territory another way is to build the equipment pieces in your workshop now you can speed up your building time by buying monthly cards and I accidentally went to the subscription area <laughs> so sorry about that error on my part but hey there's a subscription area City Hall and the Benefits Center go to monthly card so for the Supreme card for 30 days you can get 25% faster building speeds on those materials now on the value card for 30 days you get an additional 10% or either or if you just want to buy one or the other so if you buy both they add on to each other for a total of 35% faster building speed which you can see there in the middle above my build time so get those pieces out as fast as possible if you can now another way to get material chests is in the merchant sometimes now I normally only refresh this one time a day. I spend 10 gems to refresh. And if I don't get anything good out of that second refresh, I'm not too worried. But for this video, I wanted to show you they're in there. So I kept refreshing and refreshing until I got it. Now, while I'm in here, I'll just talk about what I normally buy. Um, Lord XP, potions, the 50 shell, um, speed ups any kind of speed up that's 50 shells I'll buy that and um, beast chests I used to buy beast scrolls but I'm not too keen on buying them as much as I used to since I generally get those out of the um, that mega beast that comes every few days in the center of the map by the tower so I've not been as interested in buying a bunch of scrolls since I generally place pretty well. Now I used to buy them, so if you need scrolls, definitely you can either pay gems or shells for them. This is a great resource of spending a little resources for those shells and then turning it into something more useful. Now if I'm low on healing speeds, I'll grab the higher healing speeds for like 750 or 500 or 225 gems just not gems as uh, shells if that's what I'm needing so I was able to buy one material chest in that merchant so I'm gonna open it up after I open up all my other goodies yay pet skills okay here it is I got a white material <laughs> Not as great but usually I'd hold on to that for 50 but I just wanted to show you it's not very good to open them up one by one hold on to them another great place to buy is in the hot shop so they've listened to us we've cried and complained to camel thank you camel for bringing back all those lovely goodies in the hot shop we just love it so great deal 200 green material chests, 40 gems a piece for 8,000 gems total. So if it's not in your budget right now, save up for the next hot shop and buy those material chests if you need them. Another, I mean, all this stuff in here is pretty decent. I generally don't buy resources from here. I rely mostly on farms and prizes for that. So. I love buying speed ups, march speeds, 25s and 50s all day long. <laughs> the elite teleports, you can get them for 1600 gems in the merchant, but that is far, far, like 
seldom and sometimes you get them for 6,000 shells. So if you save them up like I do on my farms, easy way to transport your farms back. <laughs> 6,000 shells, when those things pop up in my farms, I grab them up. And then the seven day VIP, you can buy four of those. So that's a month long of VIP for super cheap. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment below, and subscribe.